You weren't here last summer. Do you do you know what you're going to expect from uh, from Joe Judge and 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 this uh, these next six weeks? Yeah, I think so. I've been um, I played on I played for a couple teams. Joe Judge coached that before, um, so they weren't his camp. I'm sure they're they may be similar, may not. But Joe Judge is tough on the fundamentals, um, a lot of conditioning. And that's how I made a career uh, for myself, being fundamentally sound and being in shape for nine, ten years now. You, you are the player rep, correct, for the Giants? Yeah, as of now, till we vote again, yeah, I'm the player rep. Okay. I have a big picture COVID question. Stay with me. Hopefully I, hopefully I make sense. Um, the memo that came out on Thursday from the league that articulated what the difference is between vaxxed and unvaxxed and whether teams can forfeit and guys can lose their salaries – how do you think that was handled from a PA standpoint? Um, do you think that players fully understand the consequences if they're not vaccinated? And uh, do you think the full player membership had a voice in creating those protocols? Yeah, well, the rule where, you know, if a game is canceled, players, you know, won't get paid uh, on either team was in, in effect last year. So that was the same case of last year. If a game were to be canceled completely and not played at all in the schedule, both players, and that took a lot of people aback um, last year as well. And we obviously were able to make them all fit. The thing is this year with fans being back in stadiums, it'll be a lot harder to just move a game from Monday to Tuesday than when the Steelers played on a Wednesday morning or something. So it's a lot less flexibility. Um, I think it's been made clear to all the players, um, regardless how you feel about vaccinations, I believe everyone has their right, but it's going to be really hard to um, the NFL is making it really difficult with the protocols to be unvaccinated. Um, you see some other franchises where assistant coaches have been terminated because of it. And it's very, very hard day to day to be unvaccinated. I know I, I am vaccinated. I personally am because um, I've, I've talked to enough doctors. I believe in Ronnie Barnes, our team doctor. And my wife last year went through a couple of medical procedures, uh, was in a hospital um, last year during, during the whole COVID outbreak. So that was pretty scary for us. And I couldn't see her as much as I wanted to. So that was important for me and my family to get vaccinated. I encourage players to, but I also, you know, I'm not going to demand anybody to if they don't want to, if that's what they believe. It's just going to be really difficult day to day and almost costly with the amount of fines uh, that they can hit you with 24 seven monitoring, um, have your mask over your nose, you're getting fined like 15,000, like overnight. So I think the league's making it pretty clear where they want people to be when it comes to vaccination. Thanks. Tom Danavan. Hey, Logan, how you doing? What's going on, Tom? Nothing much. I just have a quick question. Joe was talking about, you know, last season. He says last season's last season. How can you come into this season and not be optimistic? I mean, I'm all, I'm always optimistic. Honestly, I'm an optimist in myself. Um, last season was last season. It has no bearing to this season. We got a lot of new players on the roster, players who haven't played here before. And um, look, I think you need talent. I think you need a talented team to win for sure. But you need that team to stay healthy. And I think you got to get the reps in the, in the system. I think you really need to run your system and really put the work in um, together. And that's what we're doing now. Um, and that, that comes in training camp. That's just part of the team building, team bonding process of getting yourself in football shape and really putting those reps in and those details as players because great players help you win games, but great players got to play great together to make great units. And that's what we're trying to create is great units and uh, obviously a great team. And that, that just comes through training, and that's what training camp's for.